Okay, I'd like to um, spend a few minutes to get the materiality right for the um, ETFE film. And uh, I spent a lot of time with that, so I've already created something that I think is workable, and I've probably spent an inordinate amount of time looking at how these will render out um, with ray taste rendering. So we're going to create an ETFE um, material um, custom, and I'm going to use this as the template. And I'll have to, um, you know, basically it's a generic material that I've uh, added the um, I've lightened the um, baseline, <clears throat> excuse me, color. We've added glossiness to it, still non-metallic, some reflectivity and some transparency, and some translucency to it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this off the screen because I'll work to the new definition. And we'll go to, um, well, actually, it just bounced over so that they both are on the same screen. I don't know how that happened. Um, I'm not familiar enough with Windows, but we'll go with that. <clears throat> so under Materials, we'll create a new material. Right away, we'll give it that um, new name. And under the Appearance Palette, um, we'll lighten this color up. And um, we're in the 242 or something like that range. Anyway, something close there. And um, we bumped up our glossiness. Now these are just initial settings to get us something hopefully that we'll, um, we'll be happy enough with uh, for renderings. That's, uh, and these aren't precise by no means. Um, And like I said, I'm just copying those numbers over right now. So we'll go ahead and apply that. It looks pretty close to uh, that material. So I'll close off that palette. I'll close off this window and expand that back out. And now I'm just going to grab one of these panels and go to Edit Type. And I have Material by Category, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll grab that uh, material we've just created. Excuse me. It's going to take a while to update that. And there we can see through our, our film. And also, um, right now we have our mass element showing. So I, I could actually just go ahead and uh, change our, our view palette here. If we were to restart this again, it would open up with the mass element. Well, our mass elements aren't showing. So I'm not sure why I've got that. Those elements, the nodes and the uh, mass element still showing here. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I want to move on to just building some quick walls around this whole thing. So let's go ahead. Let's make a new custom wall. Oops. You know, we'll start with a generic wall. And I'll go and duplicate it. I just want to give it a corrugated metal texture. So... Um, uh, what we call it, um, warehouse. And we'll go to edit. And then for the structure, we'll give it a material. And we'll make a new one. We want to grab that corrugated metal. So, um, I'll just rename this metal siding. And we'll grab an image, 
and I have metal corrugated already um, in my folder and if you can either look for one or hopefully I'll remember to post it on the website and we'll go ahead and edit that image rotate it 90 degrees it's like a vertical siding um, we'll make the element uh, let's try 10 feet this might not be the texture I used the last time but we'll go with it for now and that's applied and the wall we want to draw is from level 1, unconnected. Our wall was 34 plus 12 is 40, 50. So let's go up, um, let's go up 48 feet because we do want our roof to kind of, or our wall or our door to kind of extend up beyond that. And we'll just start, I'm going to start where it's partially open. Oops. And I'm really not concerned too much with our sizes here. We're just trying to get a volume around this whole thing. Oops. Sorry. We need enough for that door to move completely over that other surface. And this would be in some amount like that. And I don't know, I made a 3D view the last time. All right, so now we have our, have our metal siding on our building. We have the start of our door coming opening. Um, we need to address a few more issues about um, creating some wheels. I'll do that probably next custom I-beam and then some glass curtain wall that goes underneath that assembly. So we'll pick those up in some of the other clips that we'll address next.